Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. And you're, you're sure it had the right number of, uh, gills or whatever? We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth? Oh no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Uh, Grandma! <laughs> I'm just kidding, honeybee. Now, I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still cold in the spring around here. Could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm, chop them up for me, and bring me the wood? Sure thing, Grandma. Uh, you'll need this to get started. Habe abgeschlossen. Alles bei Ordnung. Man hat ich auf der Farm einige Bauern. I just love the peace here. I guess that's why I've never moved anywhere else. Do you? think that's strange. No, Grandma. I think it's peaceful here, too. Well, maybe we're both strange. <laughs> Potatoes will take a while to grow. Keep watering them every day. If you wander around the farm, you'll find logs lying on the ground. Could you chop some of those for me and bring me the wood? I better not just yet. Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. It's me, Parker, again. I stopped by just like I promised. How are you settling in? I'm getting there. I hear you. I moved here from the city myself 10 years ago. Oh. How long did it take you to feel comfortable here? I'll let you know. Lena's busy right now, so I wanted to show you the way to the general store. It's really important for anyone running a farm because she can buy all your produce and sell you new seeds. It'll be hard to make ends meet if you can't sell your goods. I'm heading there now if you want to tag along. Yes, that would be fantastic. I get turned around in town sometimes. Great. Follow me. What do you think of the town so far? I'm not sure yet. I thought I'd remember more of it than I do. <laughs> How's it going? I'm Damon. You're Hazel's granddaughter, yeah? How did you guess? You got the same eyes. They say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes and a sympathetic ear any old time. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Oh, hey, Bruno. Damon, I want to settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> That's all right. I knew you were good for it, but uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish just haven't been biting lately, but I got Otto to float me for a week. I wish you hadn't told me that. Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's not so. He's just a teetotal is all. And who's your new friend here? Guten Tag. You're Hazel's granddaughter, aren't you? Yes. Are you German? And also psychic? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually speak much of my native tongue, but I try to keep up some traditions. And you're just a picture of your grandma when she was a girl. I am? Yeah. She was a real spitfire back then, too. Hasn't changed much. I see you met Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? And you brought Tara. Wonderful. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again. <laughs> I, I mean, that's, that's terrible. Uh, see? That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. Kai. Check it out. This is my kiosk. I'm here, you know, whenever. It's like uh, a pop-up shop. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off-island. Take a look, but like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it now. The merchandise is just whatever feels right in the moment, you know? Okay. Nice to see a new face around here. Hi, I'm Hazel Wild's granddaughter, Tara. Oh, Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports and the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Or Oh, sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm, I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you.
Oh, that wood looks nice and dry and ready to... It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. If you work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy, you're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. It'll fix you right up. Ausgabe denn etwas zu aus deiner Tasche und mit Welcome. I am Vanessa Soft, First Lady of Fairhaven. Pleasure to meet you. How is your grandmother doing? She's... well... to be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. So, um, hi, I guess. <laughs> I'm Juliet. Hey, Juliet. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bye.
Something spooky and weird is going on here. Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. You look just like I pictured. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Oh, and you are? Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me Shelby. think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. No, no, it's fine. I just wasn't as good with my hands as he was. I gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. You know, if we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. If you ever want to try your hand at it, I kept the blueprints to all of his tools right here. Here. Thanks, Grandma. Not sure if I'm a handy Tara, but I'll try for us. A bit of food is all you need when your energy is low, and then you're right as rain. For a while, you still need plenty of sleep. Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. But, Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? Did Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on, try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. <laughs> I said I would make you your favorite recipe, and I meant it. I just need a few things. You can't grow rice yourself around these parts, but you can pick some up at Lena's store, too. Your wish is my command, Grandma. Oh, you're too good to me, honeybee. <laughs> Is it time for bed? 